know what to do if somebody were to go into sudden cardiac arrest. Well, besides dialing 911, if you don't know CPR, there are machines that can help you. Uh, they're the AED machines. They're in almost every public space. So how do you work it? We're showing you how easy it is to use. Better leave it in the doctor's hands this morning. Dr. Sharon Thompson is joining us. She's in our open door green room today. Uh, and she's joining us in studio with a demonstration up next. Uh, uh, it is time to focus on wellness. We've got Dr. Thompson joining us, who happened to get her car washed this weekend. I shouldn't have said that. It does not speak to your medical credibility. It just meant that you weren't listening closely to April. We've all seen uh, these machines before, dun da 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 the AEDs, but do you really know what they are? Do you know how to use them? And I guess maybe the bigger question is, can you even find the one that's at your home or office? Uh, Dr. Thompson is joining us to show us why it is so important to be familiar with this, get comfortable and do your part to save a life if someone goes into cardiac arrest. Absolutely. Sudden cardiac arrest happens. Uh, there are certain people who are at higher risk for okay. it. If you've had a heart attack before, certain types of heart disease, folks on certain kinds of medications. But the important thing to know is that the sooner someone can get help, yes. the more likely it is that you can save their lives. Okay. So all of us can be first responders. All of us can save lives with the help of these great tools. Okay. The first important fact is where is is it? Now, AEDs were developed uh, several years ago, and they've been placed in public places, airports, bus stations, big employers will have them. Does your employer have one? Uh, yes, they do. And okay, you're taking a look at where it is, which is in our That's three TV right. lobby. Full disclosure, I was quizzed as to the location of this contraption, and I guess the opposite side of the building. So now we know, um, and this is a good time too, as you walk into your uh, place of work today to figure out where this is. Absolutely. So, so the first know, key is to find out where it find is. Find out where it is. But how mm -hmm. do we know when to use it? What does cardiac arrest look like? So if you find someone who is on the ground, mm -hmm. they'll be unresponsive. You can feel for a pulse. The biggest pulse in our bodies is right here in our necks. Okay. And if you don't feel one, you shake them, you try to wake them up. They're not waking up you can use the AED. The beautiful thing about an AED, you can't go wrong. Okay. It will guide you through exactly oh. what you need to do. Want to try? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Let's open the box. Okay. And it's very simple here. So it's very simple unit. This one um, will look different from others, but they basically all have an on button and that's all we need to know. All so right. let's turn it on. You got to push hard enough to actually turn it on. And I assume responsibility to make sure this is charged. <laughs> yes. Okay. And the batteries last a long time. So we have some pads, okay. so let's apply them. Go ahead and open that one. And it tells you where to put them. So this one looks like it goes right in the middle, and one goes on the side. Plug in, connect. Here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, yeah, they're pretty uh, foolproof. Okay. Pretty simple. And now the machine does the rest. It tells you exactly what to do. So just follow the instructions. Advised. So it's telling us what to do. Charging. But all Take this time. Of this mm -hmm. feels like a long time. You don't panic deliver during this time? Nope. Okay. Just deliver shock. Here? Shock delivered. Perfect. So this tells you what to do, and after the shock, CPR. it will advise you what to do. All wow. of us also should get, take a CPR class so we mm -hmm. feel comfortable doing chest compressions. They're actually fairly simple to do, but you pointed out the keyword panic. So what we need to do is just not panic, follow the instructions on the machine. But that's a big and, part of my personality, is to I panic in a crisis. And that's how classes will help, because the class will really orient you okay. to the situation. You'll have a little bit of knowledge so that it'll tamper down yes. that anxiety so that you'll just follow the instructions on the machine. Among the things that will be happening in motion is making sure somebody's called 911 or you're exactly. doing that while this is happening. Exactly. Is this, would this be after chest compressions, before, if you have access to this? So before the AD is available, start your chest compressions. Okay. Once you get the AD, put Somebody's it on get and this follow the instructions. And it tells you. So you might have noticed after it delivered the shock, it said continue compressions. Okay. So it tells you continue compressions and it tells you when to stop. It'll reanalyze the rhythm and tell you if it needs to shock Dr. again. Dr. Thompson, you Foolproof. are seriously helping us uh, stay safe and save yes. lives. Appreciate your time so much. Yes. Uh, we we can all head, be helpful. Uh, definitely.